I'm Russ Case, the editor of Reptiles Magazine and ReptileChannel.com. We're here in Fountain Valley, California with Jay Brewer of Prehistoric Pets and the Reptile Zoo. And what's that you got there, Jay? Well, this is an Asian water monitor. Of course, that's pretty vague, but that's because there's so many subspecies they actually bring in. They're very, very abundant in Indonesia, Asia, and they, they come from quite a big, big area. And this particular one is beautiful, as you can see. They come in, they come with almost all black. You'll recognize them. They'll all usually be called an Asian water monitor or a, a, a Salvatore monitor, which is part of their scientific name, Varanus Salvatore. Now, they're bred in captivity pretty widely, this, this species? Correct. And uh, they, they aren't bred that widely yet, but they're starting to be. Yeah. And uh, this is something we actually work with around here because we enjoy them because they're one of my favorites for pets. Let's look at the enclosure. But there are parts you got to remember, too, that get very large. This is actually a baby. This is actually, if you notice, he looks completely different. It's not a locality, it's actually a morph. It's called a uh, sulfur water monitor. Now you see he's got a nice big bowl, thus he can swim in. He doesn't really need to swim in one, but it's nice to give him that opportunity, when, especially when he's younger. And there, I have one that has been raised without a big bowl, and it's kind of funny, he actually doesn't like getting in the water. <laughs> Despite <laughs> the common name. I'm serious, he really doesn't. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> pretty funny. Now what we got here is a nice hot spot. <clears throat> this side you want to be about 95 degrees, 90 degrees, but you always want to make sure there's a gradient. You want this end of the cage to be room temperature. You know, now of course if you live in a hot enough area and it's 95 degrees, you probably don't need a heat lamp, at least not during the time that's 95 degrees. So now what you want to do is if you notice I have a, a little hide there, he can actually go underneath there and hide. Now the kind of neat part about that is you put on, underneath the tank, you put a heat pad and that gives him some belly heat. And, they can, uh, and that's really common for them to, when they eat a big meal, they need extra heat. Now, speaking about a big meal, these guys eat everything. They eat <laughs> chicken, they'll eat cut chicken, they'll eat big chickens if they get big enough. They eat chicken, they eat mice, they eat pinkies, fuzzies, uh, all kinds of different kinds of food. Now, what's important it is, and you can, you can actually raise one perfectly fine on cut chicken, but you want to make sure you add calcium to the chicken mm -hmm. because... If, if you're using, unless you're feeding them with the bone in it, then it's not quite so critical because the bone will give them the calcium they They'll need. eat the bone, right? right. The chicken. Now, he doesn't need a, a UV light, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So we don't even necessarily use UV lights, although it seems like on some of the more yellow ones, it helps the color a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but you want to make sure to give them calcium on their food. And really, they're pretty simple, just as long as you got the temperatures correct. And they make fabulous pets. Yep, that's the water monitor for you. Get one. You want to see how big they actually get? Oh! <laughs> Check this out. There you go. That's a nice big Asian water monitor. Make fabulous pets dog chains.